Hey guys, it's Shadow here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a secret feature that's contained only on the disc version of the Dead Space remake. So, in a previous video, I showed you guys that it is possible to play Dead Space offline, the remake that is, and it actually comes with the entire game, which is pretty rare for a lot of modern games these days. Oftentimes, games just come with nothing on the disc, but the entire Dead Space remake is on the disc and all the features and everything is there, including its performance and quality mode settings. But for this video, we'll be focusing on a secret feature related to the quality mode on the disc version. So if you're like me, then you might prefer, you know, playing games in the highest quality possible, which means you play in quality mode. Now, I know that's kind of controversial. A lot of people will swear by performance mode or they'll only play in performance mode, but personally, I can I, I can tolerate the 30 FPS uh, in a lot of these games for quality mode. It, it's not that bad, and you get used to it after a while. But with the Dead Space Remaster, it actually wasn't always 4K 30 FPS for the quality mode. In fact, if you install the game offline on the disc version, meaning you install it and you don't install any updates for the game, no patches, no day one updates, nothing then that version of the Dead Space remake, the quality mode for that version is actually unlocked for the frame rate. It has an unlocked frame rate, meaning you can go above 30 FPS. And it's actually, well, you could arguably say it's better that way. So as you can see by this uh, frame counter here, the quality mode of the disc version, the offline disc version of the Dead Space remake, it it does fluctuate quite a bit depending on the scene. It never goes below 30 FPS, at least during the intro. I've only tested it on the intro, but it, it makes sense that way. Uh, but it never goes below 30, obviously. It it easily stays above 30, but it can be in the low 30s to... I've seen as high as the mid 50s. But I would say on average, it hovers somewhere in the low to mid 40s for the, for the frame rate. And that's... That's not... Bad. I mean, it, it's. I know some people can make the argument that a consistent frame rate is better than a fluctuating one, but I think you know a higher FPS is, if possible, would be you know better, more preferable. But I'm not like really an expert on this. Like for me personally, I don't really, I don't. I'm not gonna really notice the difference between like 30 and 45 FPS. I can usually notice it between like 30 and 60, but. Uh, it's not going to be a huge difference for me personally in this case, but some people are definitely more experts on this and can definitely notice it better. And, you know, that they'll have their own opinions about you know, what's better, whether, you know, higher frame rate or consistent frame rate. But as you can see in this con comparison between the two, it's not perfectly synced. I had issues getting them to sync together, but it doesn't really matter because the patched version of the game it runs at a consistent 30 pretty much the entire time, so there's no issue there. But the unpatched version, the disc offline ver the offline disc version, that can go from, you know, like I said, low 30s to mid 50s, as you can see right here. So it, it never hits 60 FPS, at least during the intro. But you know, it it, it runs pretty well and. It, it's unfortunate they they removed that unlock frame rate. I, I think I think they really should bring it back in a future update, because uh, you know it that lets it probably take full advantage of the Series X hardware. You get the full quality mode, and you can have a little better frame rate too, if possible. So, in my opinion, it would be nice if they brought that feature back. But unfortunately, right now it's gone unless you play the disc version offline. So that is the secret feature on the disc. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave thoughts and comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!